This Mississauga restaurant has gone above and beyond public health measures to ensure the safest environment for its staff and customers. The owner here paid thousands of dollars out of pocket to bring in these HEPA filters, saying there's not enough urgency surrounding the fact that COVID is airborne. An environmental scientist here uh, for a whole day to take uh, airflow measurements and a whole lot of other things. After a financially depressing year, the owner of the Apricot Tree Cafe here in Mississauga spent over $10,000 on portable HEPA filters similar to the ones that were brought into schools across Ontario. The focus is still too much on, uh, on vaccination rates and case numbers. But we have to do more now. We have to take it seriously and improve into air quality. And it's not just in restaurants, in so many other settings as well. And we know we can do, we can do better. The cafe has been open for 28 years. According to the owner, that's one reason it survived all the lockdowns. He says small businesses shouldn't have to shoulder the cost of taking these airborne precautions. I think really should the government really help out with uh, um, incentives to get more businesses to invest in better air, into air quality. Over the last month, Health Canada emphasized that COVID-19 is airborne and that better ventilation and masking are essential to reducing transmission. Our country's top doctor recently tweeted this video showing how the virus spreads. That's exactly right, right? So if you think about a cloud of smoke, it doesn't um, immediately fall to the floor. Uh, it kind of goes with the airflows, and it's different in different spaces. Jeffrey Siegel is a scientist and air quality expert at a view of T. Businesses have gone out of the way to install those plexiglass partitions. I mean, anywhere you go, any restaurant, any shop, you're going to see the plexiglass. Did those barriers work, knowing what we know about COVID? In some very narrow scenarios, barriers might be good. Siegel says they work well to promote social distancing, but without proper ventilation, the barriers provide little protection for those who are face to face. The barrier does much less for airborne uh, because the air flows around the barrier, obviously. Do you think the outbreaks in schools would be much worse if there wasn't a major um, improvement to ventilation in schools and the HEPA filters brought in? Yeah, I mean, it's really hard to say, but I would say that yes. Uh, and uh, I would say further that if we were actually doing outbreak investigation, I bet we would start to see associations like, oh, this was a really big classroom with a small HEPA filter, or, um, oh, this HEPA filter wasn't actually used that much, or this HEPA filter is over in the corner uh, where it's not really treating the air. Siegel believes we have neglected the importance of air quality for a long time, and we now have an opportunity to make these investments. I believe very, very strongly that this is a classic place for provincial and federal government, you know, oversight, providing good information, um, providing, um, you know, the resources to support this kind of thing. With fear that Omicron could lead to another lockdown, this cafe is doing everything possible to keep COVID out and stay open. The owner here is also upping the ante on masking, telling me he's ordered about 195s for all of his staff. In Mississauga, Shauna Hunt, City News.